Have a look at this monstrosity. Two kgs of fine 999 silver. Perth Mint's done it again. They've uh, released this two kilo coin. It's a kookaburra this time. I can't remember what the last one was. I think it was a koala. Um, yeah, 3,800 bucks for 64 ounces of silver is a ridiculous amount of premium. Okay, I'm taking issue with this coin because the first issue I have is that collecting coins, uh, you hold collector's coins in your hands. You, you don't hold two kgs in your hands. Um, it's just too oversized, too clunky, just too bulky. Um, very, very rare, struck to just 200 coins, but good luck finding 200 people and dropping in 4,000 Australian bucks on a coin. Um, that sort of money, coin collecting is hit and miss. My days of high premium coins are long in the past. I've been burnt too much in the past and I've lost a passion for the high premium coins. I'm only really collecting bullion and ex circulation coins, coins that were, you know, found in change, coins that ended up in cash registers and vending machines, silver and base metal, but predominantly silver. But paying this much for silver is just ridiculous. Yeah, this coin could go up in price, but you're holding it, you're storing it, how much is it going to go up? You drop four grand on a variety of coins, and like I said, it, it's hit and miss. You'll get gains that will more than well smooth over your losses if you spent four grand on a different variety of coins because there's just so many varieties of collectors out there buying this thing you're just you're locking yourself into the hope that one particular type of collector will will buy it off you at a higher price in the future it's as far as investment goes it's yeah i wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole but i'm sure there's people out there with money to burn and if they wanted to they could buy this and just enjoy it and just show it off it's it is a big show-off piece, but um, I don't see it as a coin. I mean, I just see it as overly glorified bullion. I mean, look at the rim on it. Look at the, the reeded edge, the antique finish. Yeah, it's it's a bullion piece at the end of the day. You, you can buy a lot more bars and increase the size of your stack with that that sort of money, but I'm sure people who are buying these coins aren't, aren't worried about um, increasing their stack and... Um, dollar cost averaging and stuff like that. As for the coin, yeah, antique finish looks nice, but it is what it is. $60 face value. It's in a nice fancy slab. So that's 101 mil in diameter and 36 mil thick. Yeah, high relief. Number certificate of authenticity. No one's reviewed it yet. Yeah, I'm sure they haven't because, yeah. There you have it. Anyway, let us know what you think in the comments section. Would you spend this sort of money on a coin? I always approach coins as an investment. I was once a passionate collector, but even in my passionate collecting days, even if I had the cash, I just couldn't justify shelling out this much on a coin. You lose too much uh, too much of opportunity to buy other coins and add to your real value to your collection. But each to their own. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let us know what you think.